Police reports have been filed against Iris Cole, founder of the Healing the Divide group, which had opposed COVID-19 vaccination and suspended lawyer Emro V for allegedly publishing social media posts during the cooling off period for the recent presidential election. The Elections Department of Singapore ALD confirmed in a media release on Monday, October 2 that its assistant returning officer filed the police reports. Taman Shanmugaram had been elected as Singapore's ninth president last month, after securing 70.4% of the votes. The cooling-off period started on August 31 midnight and continued until the close of polling at 8 p.m. on September 1. During this period, campaigning activities and new election advertising were prohibited to allow voters time for reflection on their choice for the Singapore president. ELD said it had issued reminders regarding these restrictions. However, Ko and Rovi repeatedly shared online election advertising during the cooling off period. This content was considered to reasonably be regarded as intended to promote or prejudice the electoral success of a candidate or to otherwise enhance or prejudice the standing of a candidate. On August 31st, Cole posted two identical videos on TikTok containing such content. Rovi shared one of Cole's videos on Facebook, in addition to three more videos on the same platform, all with similar content. On polling day on September 1st, Rovi published a fifth video and another post on Facebook, both with similar content. In a Reddit thread a month ago, users pointed out that Ko was also present at a viewing party held at the home of presidential candidate Tan Kin Lian, during which she accused journalists of bias reporting. In response to these violations, the assistant returning officer issued correction directions to TikTok and Meta on August 31st and September 1st, instructing them to restrict access to Ko's two videos and Rovi's five videos and one post. Both TikTok and Meta complied with these correction directions. Both Ko and Rovi have pending charges against them. Ko is accused of conspiring with a doctor to provide false information about vaccination status. At the same time, Rovi faces charges related to an incident where he allegedly slapped a man near an MRT station and engaged in disorderly behavior. ELD stated that the police may initiate investigations to determine whether Ko and Rovi have committed any offenses under the Presidential Elections Act during the cooling-off period.